in this lecture i will show you how you will perform the eccentricity check mean structure eccentricity check uh, on your model first of all i will uh, give you idea of center of mass and center of rigidity for example this is a structure uh, dx is the x direction length dy is the y direction length and uh, here is the center of mass center of stiffness or you can uh, the same name of uh, the second name of center of stiffness is center of structure for example if the whole building have a uniform mass then the center of mass is locating here at the center uh, uh, but due to some shear walls the on, of, uh, on the uh, on this side of the building then the center of rigidity is shifting uh, towards the and uh, to the upper side uh, why this is so important for example if you have a building and at uh, some uh, some part of the building you have a heavy machinery then the center of the mass uh, of the building will shift towards the left so similarly if you have a uh, um, more shear walls on the one side so then the center of rigidity will also shift towards that side so then the, the the distances between these two points for example the x distance that is the ex and the y distance is the ey so ex is the centricity in x direction ey is the centricity in the y direction so code say the allowable centricity in the x direction that should be 15 percent of dx similarly the y direction centricity uh, that should also be less than 15 percent in the y direction here is a code code mentioned at various location the centricity check so here that the centricity should not exceed 15 percent of overall building width and length okay so here so what will be the effect of this cent uh, eccentricity if this eccentricity is present then the torsional forces will arise for example this is the center of rigidity of the building one side there is a, a uh, shear wall that's the demonstration center of rigidity will uh, on this uh, on this corner and the center of mass here when the lateral force comes then the building try to twist about this point because this is the center of rigidity okay then the torsion forces will arise so software says the allowable eccentricity should be less than or equal to 15 percent so how to apply these checks okay here is the data that will I will collect from the software center of mass and center of rigidity data. I will go in the software before running the analysis and calculating the center of mass and center of rigidity. Center of mass and center of rigidity is present in the analysis. Uh, definitely, after running the analysis, the results option will appear. Before running the analysis, you have to make sure that you have signed the diaphragm to all the slabs, rigid diaphragm to all the slabs. Here, diaphragm is D1, have been assigned all the slabs second before running the analysis you have to make sure that you have uh, checked this option please tick this option calculate diaphragm center of rigidity so that's all uh, for the calculation of center of mass and center of, center of rigidity here run now When the analysis is complete, then you will go in the tables, analysis, results. You you can go from here or you can also go uh, from the menu bar, display, show tables, analysis, results. In the structure results, here you will click center of mass and center of rigidity. Okay. Here, uh, all the options that the story level, story 1 to story 11 diaphragm at each story and that is the mass in the x direction of global y direction 
center of mass in x center of mass in y direction similarly cumulative uh, mass in x direction cumulative mass in y direction that is the weighted, weighted mean of center of mass in x weighted mean center of mass in y uh, we needed only these two options center of mass for in x and y here is the center of rigidity in x and y okay so here i will select all the data so you can click here so automatically select all the options okay but simplicity i am selecting okay i have selected all the uh, uh, cells now right click copy and come into the excel sheet here put the value match destination format you can try uh, in your excel sheet as suitable to you here all the data from the software software i've already calcul uh, automatically calculated the ex here ey okay in each direction now i have to put the dimension dx and dy x and y dimension of the structure here go into the edit I destroy data modify grid here the x direction means total length in x direction that is 32.5 that is 28 in the y direction means dx is 32.5 dy is uh, uh, 28 32.5 that is 28 okay now you have to provide the same that uh, because due to regular our each story level uh, x and y data is same okay no need of down data i will put zero here software has calculated uh, the percentage eccentricity in x and y here this ex divided by dx ex divided by dx multiply by 100 it's 8.8 uh, 0.8 so all the values are less than 15 percent so that's why software is putting that is okay so that's all for structured eccentricity check have a nice day